I loved my time in the military. I spent 10 years in the Army, the first three in the 160th, as a night stalker, then volunteered for Special Forces and ended up becoming a Green Beret. It was really the deployments with the 160th that motivated me to go Special Forces. You know, we supported a lot of their operations and being aviation, I always felt like I was on the sidelines. I was always motivated to do more and being at the tip of the spear, so to say, was really what I wanted to do. I wouldn't trade my time on a team for anything. There's always going to be ups and downs with any endeavor you do, but the brotherhood you're a part of, the experiences you have, and the missions you get to take part in were absolutely priceless. But you know, as the Afghanistan war was coming to an end, I started looking at other opportunities outside the military. As much as I enjoyed my time in, I had a deep desire to build something of my own. I realized that in this environment, although the experiences were great, I got to a point of comfortability, and I've always been someone that is seeking the next challenge and the growth that comes with it. I greatly underestimated how difficult leaving the military is. On one hand, you know you are excited by the endless amount of opportunities that exist, and on the other, it's easy to develop that shiny object syndrome. I tried a few things and at first listened to the conventional advice, but didn't feel the fulfillment or drive that I needed. I missed the brotherhood. I missed having a team around me, a team that pushes me and inspires me to do more. Because of that desire for a team, I decided I wanted to build my own team a team of like-minded and motivated individuals similar to what I had in Special Forces. And thinking back to my time on a team, I realized that all the stuff that people deem as crazy that we did actually seemed very easy at the time. Not that it wasn't physically challenging, but because everyone on the team is performing at such a high level. And performing at that level starts to feel like you're just going with the flow when you're surrounded by that type of energy. So to build this new team, I knew I needed to reach people. And the best way to reach people in 2023 is through social media. So I posted my first video, which it's been a great platform for me to reach people, engage, and actually start developing those those conversations and those relationships. As this thing has developed, I've learned that it's more than just a team and a community and that we're not only able to reach, but touch people and inspire them to do more and open their eyes to the potential that lies within them. So one of my goals with Infinite Grit is to help people realize that inherent potential, develop big dreams and aspirations, then put in the work needed to live a fulfilling life. If you wanna learn more about the platform we built that helps individuals reach their potential and improve their lives, I'll drop the link in the description down below. And if this program isn't for you, but you support what we're doing here at Infinite Grit, all that I ask is that you simply like and share this video. The more people we can reach, the bigger our impact can be. And by sharing this video, you have a direct contribution to changing someone's life. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.